All right, team, welcome back to Lawn Journeys. This is a uh, quick bite, I guess you could say. Um, I did do my overseed project this fall, but um, you, like me, may run into some areas that you need to seed again. And if you recall, I told you to remember to save yourself a cup of seed so as you find these spots in your lawn, you can put some uh, good soil down, reseed them, and give it a little bit of loving care and get those spots to pop up. I particularly like the Scott's Lawn Soil. It is a turf builder product. It has some nutrients in the bag that will support uh, germination. I find this uh, mixture um, very good. It's a very good medium for seed and I'll show you guys what it looks like. The ingredients are formulated from materials including one or more of the following. Peat, composted forest products or compost, sphagnum peat moss, a wetting agent, and fertilizer. The lawn soil macros are as follows. 0.08 nitrogen, 0.03 phosphorus, 0.02 potassium. Alright team, this is a really simple operation when you have spots that you saved your seed for and you need to hit it again so as you guys can take a look my lawn over seeds looking pretty good but i do have a couple spots um i don't know if it was a fungus you know something happened here and my overseed didn't really take here so it's just really simple you just scratch this area up okay you throw a little bit of your favorite seed down here Throw some of your Scott's starter soil on top because it has all the goodies in it. Keep it moist, protect it. And I throw a little bit more seed on top and I just brush it in. That's it. Really simple. Just keep it moist. And uh, I don't know what kind of seed it is. KBG, you'll have germination in. Uh, Probably two weeks if you're using a uh, perennial rye or uh, another uh, cool season grass, you could have germination in a matter of days. That's it. Simple. Easy peasy. There's no reason why you can't get out there. You got to fix these spots now. Um, get them established and you'll thank yourself in the spring. Okay? Took me, uh, you know, a minute to do that. I have a one big bag of Scott's Lawn Soil. I have a little bit of uh, seed. I'll run around here until I exhaust it. I may even save some because I know I'll find another spot next week. So I hope you guys found this little bit of information useful. It's a product that I use. A lot of you guys probably use it. It's not like you haven't seen it before. But um, if it's something new, um, I recommend it. If you have those hard to treat um, areas that you're trying to overseed on your lawn, where you have maybe a, a circle or a large area that's just no grass and it's down a dirt, you just can't throw a seed on that. You're not going to get good germination and it's going to blow away. It's going to wash away. Um, the soil isn't necessarily sweet for um, rooting. I found that this product works very well. It does retain moisture. I recommend it. It's Lawn Journey approved. Go down to your big box store, pick up a bag, get some seed, or if you uh, save the cup of your favorite seed, this is where it comes in very handy. So, short video just wanted to share with you guys what i'm still doing here to finish my overseed project for the fall of 2021 get out there get it done like the video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys next time on lawn journeys